Hey, this is Mike. Uh, this is just an update video. There was some stuff I wasn't familiar with in the other video um, that I got some help with uh, some people on YouTube and also here at the dealership on clarifying some things. And one of the things was uh, the subwoofer. Now I've got this printout and the subwoofer is actually right here underneath the back glass. Now a YouTuber did point that out, but it was, seemed like um, I didn't know for sure because when I looked underneath the trunk here, let me go ahead and open up the trunk. I'm going to go ahead and use the key. When I looked in the trunk, there's a cover here, so I didn't see anything. Then, it's hard to see because they tinted the windows. When I look back here, see here when I look back there all I saw was the latch system so it didn't even look like there was any speakers there but actually the the manager or um, service manager took that cover off and there is actually a, a small 8 inch subwoofer right in that location there and um, you know it describes it here I even found out the uh, the model number of it the part number so there is actually a subwoofer there. You can't see it on either side. And you can't really hear it a whole lot either. Either So uh, this is the Premium 2 system. The Premium 3, as some people would point it out, has a much nicer speaker system in it that's actually underneath uh, where the battery is. But this one just doesn't have that feature. So anyways, moving on does have a subwoofer and it's just in a weird spot and it's not a very big one and it doesn't have an enclosure now you know usually subwoofers have an enclosure and it makes them sound good now YouTube <laughs> guy on YouTube I guess is a guy somebody on YouTube really really is awesome and he's a friend to, to humanity and helping me out here and there's some stuff I didn't go over um, on the first video and it's really cool stuff so first thing is the uh, sport track pack which is this button here I'm gonna go ahead and push it oh, I gotta turn on I use remote start all right I'm gonna push it and it pulls up this performance control now you've got a launch control you've got um, all kinds of cool stuff here drive mode setup I can set up what sport mode does hit that I can adjust it, the engine transmission steering actually I don't know how that works traction control paddles shifters on or off basically uh, what you want the sport mode to do when you push the button there let's get back here that's the drive mode now launch control now he says that um, or the person says that there the launch control is activated after the vehicle has over 500 miles um, I'm not gonna adjust too much or activate anything because this is gonna be somebody else's vehicle but I just want to kind of go through it um, let's go let's go into here rpm you can adjust the rpms for the launch control and stuff but this is something I didn't even know existed um, until he until they mentioned it and I'm really glad they did that so there's that that's what the super track pack button does and close that out all right and it goes back to the radio alrighty um, also the ESP button stability control button right here uh, he mentions that if you push it one time it turns off a portion of the um, let's see what it says you can it turns off a certain portion of it but if you push and hold it down which I'm doing now it turns it completely off stability control off so we've got trash control is off the first press hold it down and stability control and trash control are now off so that's something I did not know before usually don't hold down buttons and also it says you do not have to use the paddle shifters to manual shift 
and this is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive. And he says, when you put it down over here, you can you can bump it like that and change to the gears. Isn't that cool? And it shows you what gear you're you're in right there. All right, and um, you know, and also he mentioned uh, cylinder deactivation. And yes, this vehicle does have cylinder deactivation and uh, it'll run on four cylinders when you're just kind of cruising along. And I, I think that's disabled when you put it in sport mode, I'm pretty sure. And, um, but I think that's about it. If there's anything else, please let me know because I want to share as much as I possibly can. And I don't want to hold myself up to be the expert authority and all information so I'm really really glad that other people were helping me out on this and um, I'm glad I still have the vehicle in order to it hasn't sold yet so I'm able to go over this stuff but anyway if you have any questions or if you have any um, anything to add I really really appreciate your help and um, I'll see you next time